All right, I think you have the skills now that you need to be able to complete the solution for this challenge. You know how to do uh, frame by frame animation where you just like the bouncing ball where every frame gets a new item. Uh, you know how to do uh, animation where uh, one item might stay on each frame, like the lighthouse, it would stay the same on every frame and you know how to copy and duplicate those, as well as doing some squiggle art here. And I do have some squiggle art playing on my screen here. But you notice I've got this, uh, it's like a flashing Christmas tree here because it's looping around. And I want to give you a couple of tricks just before you go off and work on your solution. So let me go to the frame where that Christmas tree is. There it is right there. And if I want to pause it, what you need to do is you need to duplicate that frame probably five or six times. So let me just go ahead and duplicate it. That will at least allow it to kind of pause before it starts to repeat again. So here we go. Do You see that now it's paused there and now it can go on. And of course you kind of saw already that the other trick is if you want something to flash, so let me go ahead and add a new frame here and I might just want to say the word wow on here and I want it to flash. So let me get some red and let me just go. Okay, so that's just going to go wow. And then what you do is you can add a new frame that's blank and then add a new frame. And then now this, this time I'm going to just write my name in, let's say purple, okay. And you'll just, this is kind of annoying, but when you use it right, it can really be cool because then you can just put Brad on here. It can flash. And then I'm going to add a new frame after that. So I have seen some of these blank frames in here, maybe another new frame, another blank frame. So now if we play it, it'll pause in the Christmas tree and then go, wow, Brad. You see it kind of goes there. Yeah, and so you can kind of use the use some blank frames to be able to do some flashing in there. Don't use it wrong. This is not quite the, the best example of it, but use it appropriately and you can have a really strong message in your animation. So Okay, let's talk about how to export an animation to the camera roll. So I have this animation that I've made here, and I now want to put it in the camera roll because once it's in the camera roll, I can use it in a bunch of different other apps on my iPad. So to do that, I'm gonna tap the little home button down here, and then you're going to see these other buttons open up down here, and of course, the one in this corner here is the share button. It's always a square with an arrow coming out of it, and that's typical for most apps on an iPad. Uh, so I'm gonna tap the share button, it's going to say, what export size do you want? I want the biggest size, the 1024 by 768. Uh, I export to camera roll is off right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on because that's, that is where I want it to be. I want it to be in the camera roll. Tap the export. There it goes. Exports it to camera roll. It says it was successful. You're done. That's how to export your animations to the camera roll.